Hello everybody. Today is just a little snowy. Well, I think it stopped snowing finally, but we were in a full out like snowstorm earlier and the power went out. It was a good time, which is why this is what the hair looks like. I got ready in the dark <laughs> with like a little camping lantern is what I used. So today's video, I actually didn't really plan to vlog, but this project is one that is important if you know somebody in your life with a port, if you have a port, um, I just want you to know how easy it is to take it, literally any shirt you have to make what is called a port shirt. Just a quick explanation of what it is, is my son has a port for his infusions. And so a port is um, implanted in your chest and it's a little tube that runs into your heart. It has like a little rubber knob. So when they go to do the infusion, it the, the needle is very, very small and it just goes right in every single time, first try. There was once where they missed it, but <laughs> most of the time it makes it in. Anyways, he has outgrown his shirt that I made previously um, because he's growing. Uh, he's been doing infusions now for three years. You take literally any shirt. His port is on his left side. So I am going to basically cut a shirt all the way through to, to this seam here. And I'm going to put a zipper in. Uh, I bought a $6 shirt from Walmart and a couple dollar zipper. So if this does not work like it did last time, then I'm not out a lot of money. It doesn't have to be real durable for my son because he only needs it once every three weeks right now. And hopefully here soon will be every four weeks, but he does need a bigger shirt. Otherwise you can do the infusions without them, but um, it's a lot easier if let's say you have like a button up shirt that they can kind of like unbutton and pull to the side or maybe like a deep V cut. I don't know if you have some other ideas. If you have a port and you've learned what works really best, I would love to hear from you guys. It takes about five minutes. If I wasn't vlogging, obviously I want to like show you guys what I'm doing. So it's going to take me longer, but it would take me about five to 10 minutes if I was not doing anything else. So let's go make a port shirt. A couple things I do wanna say. One, the lighting is terrible and that's just what it's gonna be. But you do not have to have a sewing machine. I'm just using a sewing machine because I can get it done really fast with this. You can hand sew. If I can encourage you guys to do anything is go watch a quick sewing video. It really is so easy to do a very simple stitch. There's a lot of people that teach stuff. I am not a professional. I am very grateful that my mother taught us how to sew when we were younger. We learned how to do a lot of like quilting and stuff. I don't remember really a lot of that stuff, but I can do simple sewing. This is just a seven inch zipper. So you're really just gonna be sewing along here and along there and then a couple times through the bottom. Um, so it's not a lot of sewing. Another tip is make sure that you wash your shirt first. He actually already wore this shirt to make sure that it fit him. But as you know, shirts shrink. And if you sew the zipper onto this shirt before it's been washed and it looks all nice, the shirt's gonna shrink up and it's gonna kind of bubble around the zipper. So just make sure you, um, you know, maybe throw, maybe get it wet and throw it in the dryer if you don't have time to wash it. That's an easy thing to do. Just kind of pre-shrink it. Do it how you would normally do your laundry. I don't let anything air dry, so. <laughs> It all goes in the dryer. Okay, this is turning into a full sewing video. I could do a little bit of everything, okay? If, if you don't know this already, I'm willing to try just about anything once, whether that is working on cars or sewing or loading up the camper. I'm your girl. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the last time I used a sewing machine was to make Landon his port shirt because his other port shirt was this color, a dark blue. Uh, I do think that my kids have used it because I just let them. They're not gonna hurt anything on this thing. Um, does it drive me a little bit crazy? Yes, but you know what? They get creative with it. Because 
because my son is not here right now. Listen, this hair is gonna go up. Do you guys see how long my hair is? This is ridiculous. It's, I have a haircut soon. I think next week actually. She's going up because it's out of control. It's everywhere, it's in my way. We're just gonna clip her up. I'm not a big clip wearer, but look at this. She's still long in the clip. Okay, the, what is going on? I still have so much hair. We're gonna double wrap her. We're gonna go up, we're gonna come down. Is that what the cool peeps are doing nowadays? That is so much hair though. That's what we're doing. I am going to estimate, and I'm actually gonna do it a little bit higher because the last one we did kind of went like this, but when they would open it up, it'd kind of fall over. And if you've ever accessed a port before, everything has to be very sterile. It's like an operating room almost. like. Everybody's got to wear masks. They have to wear special gloves. It has to be like perfectly covered. Even Landon can't breathe on it. So he's got to turn his head. Anyways, his shirt cannot flop over while they're trying to access his port. So I'm going to do a little bit higher. That way they can kind of like pull the shoulder off almost. Um, but it kind of has to be where the zipper will fit because I don't want it to feel funny for him. I know this is only like $8 and stuff, but he has his infusion tomorrow. So this kind of has to work. There's not really a way to do it over unless it goes into his sleeve. I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. So I may have just gotten too big of a zipper. Maybe it just needed to be like a four inch. I don't know if they have those, but I think this is too big of a zipper. Okay, uh, this is a real Jessica move, but this zipper is not gonna work. The zipper is way too long. It goes like, I don't know if you can tell, but it would go way into his shoulder, which might be fine. It's kind of flexible, but I just looked and Joanne's fabric has five inch zippers, which I think will be perfect. It's not a huge deal to get another zipper. I want him to have what he needs. I actually gotta go pick up groceries at Walmart because I have a pickup there anyway. So I'm just gonna stop at Joanne's. I'm gonna go to get my groceries and then we're gonna come back um, probably grab my kids first. I don't know. This is, this is way too complicated for what this is. Once you see what I do when I have the right zipper, it's gonna be so fast. <laughs> Also, in my last video, I was looking for a coat at Costco, which, spoiler alert, I did not find one. Um, but my mom, she's got what I call like the Mary Poppins closet. She had given us girls coats for Christmas and mine was too big. I did not tell her that. <laughs> But um, I have been an extra large for so long. It is absolutely not her fault. Natalie was over there in the other day and Natalie must have said something that I'm like a smaller size. So she's like, oh, did your coat not fit you? I have another one. And she pulled this one out and it's like a perfect fit. I am so grateful to have a coat that fits me right now because I have not had time to go out and look for them. And I almost hate to now because there's only a few more months of really needing a winter coat probably three more months. And then after that, it's like hoodies. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, this is already a long vlog. Oh my gosh. Let's go grab a zipper and get the groceries and get on the road. These are the only ones they have and they only have a four inch and a six inch. Six inch might work okay because of how open his port area needs to be, but I'm gonna get the four just in case. These are a little bit more expensive than Walmart, obviously, but it's all we got. So we're gonna work with this. This was the bulkier one that they have a size five in, and these are just a little bit more low profile. I think those are just a little bit too bulky for what I want. Got the groceries, now heading home. All right, I have done all the things. Does anybody else have one of these ovens and it goes on forever when it's preheated? It does it one other time. It's too much, okay? It's too much. I came back from town. I got my kids from school. 
and now I am making a ham. And you're gonna ask, why are you making ham? It's not even a holiday. Well, this ham was $15. And I was like, look how much meat that is. We can eat it for dinner and then I can make a soup and that's only seven bucks. That's pretty good for protein. Um, we might even be able to get like three meals out of this. It does need to be cooked up because I need to start thawing out some of my turkeys. I have three turkeys, one of which that lives on my porch. <laughs> I don't turn down free meat. I know, I know a lot of people get overwhelmed with like the frozen turkeys, but I just boil it. Or you could cook it in the oven and pull the meat off and just use that for meals. Like use it for turkey soup. You could make fajitas. You could make, um, you could make tacos. Just anything that you would put shredded chicken into, use the turkey meat. And it's, you can get them free around Thanksgiving. <laughs> probably were here to see. It's been an adventure to get this port shirt done. All right, so what I did was I had Landon put the shirt on. He didn't want me to film him and that's totally okay. Um, but what we did was we put it on him and then we took chalk and we marked where we want the zipper to be. Um, he's gonna go, he wants the six inch zipper, which is one inch doesn't sound like that much, but um, it just made, it just made the difference in, I think, being comfortable and not. So let's get to it. This really isn't gonna take very long now that I have what I need. <laughs> keep it real and I don't want to fake this um, there was too big of a gap at the top this like stayed wide open and he was not comfortable with that and I totally understand that I'm actually gonna put the original seven inch zipper in because of the hole that I cut is pretty large and I think it's gonna fill it right I had to like sew over the bottom a whole bunch so it's gonna work anyways just being real I'm gonna sit here and stitch trip for the next like 20 minutes and then Get back to it. You guys have no idea what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> Maybe don't follow me, but it is a very simple thing you can make. I've just made it more complicated. I think this is gonna work, so we'll see. This is how it works. It's a little bit choppy, okay? It'll settle down once I do a couple washes, but it allows them. <laughs> For a second, I was like, did I do it on the right side? Anyways, it allows them to open it up, access this port, which is about right here on him, and then after they access it and it's done, they go like that and the tube comes out and yeah. Anyways, kind of cool. He has his infusion tomorrow, so holy smokes, it's a little crazy hair. Um, anyways, I'm excited. I hope that helped anybody. I think if I hand sewed it, it probably would have been easier. I really should have just hand sewn it. But um, if you know anything about sewing, it's an easy way. If you know somebody that has a port, um, if you have a port, 
you could easily make one of these. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to, has to be functional, okay? Um, I might go through and even trim down some of this because it will fray a little bit, but it's not perfect, but it works and uh, he'll have a port shirt tomorrow. All right, another little tip that I wanna share with you guys is <laughs> I've been buying the tubs of Philadelphia cream cheese. I think they're like 16 ounce. No, they have to be eight because there's no way they can fit more than a brick. Anyways, I buy the big tubs of cream cheese for Lance. I paid almost $9 for the tub. And I was like, hello? It got left out yesterday and I was like, dang, that was expensive cream cheese. So I had the idea, why don't I just buy bricks of cream cheese? I can get them for like $1.20 or something at Costco. Have a designated cream cheese container and I'm just gonna put this in here. It's gonna fit, okay, I'm gonna make it fit. Um, put this in here and then that's this little cream cheese container so much cheaper um a dollar 20 versus like the nine dollars i paid i think it was like 850 but we're gonna round up because we wife um <laughs> anyways that's my little tip make your own cream cheese container it's a lot cheaper even these from walmart they were two for 550 now that's alaska prices probably cheaper where you're at but that's still 225 yeah. versus 850 all right guys, I meant to show more of dinner and stuff. We had ham, mashed potatoes, and corn. We all ate ham with dinner tonight. Everyone had ham. And I got four more pounds of ham cut off of the bone. So the plan is to have um, ham and eggs for breakfast in the morning. The kids had that idea and I thought that was great. So we're gonna do ham and eggs in the morning and then I'm gonna do ham and potato soup tomorrow night for dinner. So we're getting three meals for six of us. Um, so that's like 18 meals out of this one ham that cost $15. So crazy. When you find good deals like that, just start thinking of like different meals you could make with it. Anyways, I'm gonna end this one. It's after nine, my house is a disaster, my kids are in bed and my house is gonna stay a disaster until tomorrow because I don't have it in me, so. <laughs> All right, let me know what you thought of the port shirt. I'd love to hear any advice you have on what I could do. I know, I already know one of the comments is like, probably fold the fabric over before I sew it onto the zipper. And I just didn't wanna spend that much time. We needed this for tomorrow. Um, his shirt kind of still fits, but it's very tight on him. Um, very grateful that he is growing. Just grateful that he is growing and that I do have to make a new port shirt because he's outgrown it. Um, would love to hear your thoughts on the shirt. Um, any, easy, any quick changes I could have made my life a little bit easier. I am not a professional sewer. I know the basics, but I knew I could whip this together real quick. His last shirt has lasted well over a year. Gosh, maybe even two years. Um, and I made it purposely like big on him. I don't think this one's gonna be super big on him. All right, thank you guys for coming along today on my little port shirt journey. Uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!